Today, where is AI taking business? A realistic simulation, according to experts. Links in the description. I've been doing some research on where AI is taking business. Today, we'll cover the good, the disruptive, and the timelines. Adoption is surging and spend is concentrating where the value is, often single and double digit ROI for things like writing, coding, analysis, and customer support. According to McKinsey, companies that win aren't just buying tools, they're also rewiring processes. This isn't a jobs cliff, but it's certainly a jobs remix, and technical and high cognitive jobs are going to see the biggest change. Companies need to be careful here because according to research, those companies who move the fastest are likely to see real friction in higher costs, compliance issues, and bad outputs. In software and services, for example, Gen AI boosts productivity, but without workflow and role redesign, it doesn't translate to ROI. A recent Bain Technology report said to expect pressure on IT services companies there will be fewer vendors, but their higher, more concentrated skills will matter more. Okay, let's talk about the timelines. From now to 2026, we'll move from pilots to payoff with the first wave of reliable agents in back office tasks. There'll be heavy investment in data quality and responsible AI controls. I'm skeptical on the last one, but there it is. 2026 to 2029, we'll see multi-agent systems take on cross-platform processes, order to cash, claims, supply planning, and more, with humans supervising the exceptions. Competitive gaps will widen with leading companies redesigning roles and incentives. 2030 and beyond, nobody knows, but here's the expert's best guess. The always-on enterprise becomes the baseline. Continuous planning, monitoring, and fulfillment with AI handling routine work and people focused on judgment, creativity, and relationships. Okay, what to do next? Start small, measure obsessively, and scale what works. This means picking high-value use cases, instrumenting them, and then proving value before you scale. 